Andrew, Andrew, How's it going? Andrew, Andrew. So this is actually not your typical 3D printed profits episode. So you guys, I literally just got a message from Andrew about 15 minutes ago, or I didn't read it until about 15 minutes ago. And Andrew, tell us what you said to me, Andrew. Well, I uh, did my first convention this weekend and I brought in total gross, not including fees and such of 3468 over the weekend three days what's profit uh if you include fees vendor fees uh card processing fees filament maybe around 2800 conservatively damn <laughs> damn man so first let's start with congratulations thank you that's Pretty damn good for a weekend, right? Some people are trying to make money. Some people are trying to make $1,000 a month and they're working, you know, three hours a day. And that's $1,000 a month. Dude, you did it in a weekend. And you're like, done for the month. I'll see you later. Yeah, the rent in my apartment complex went up about 136 a, a month this, uh, this upcoming lease renewal. So I'm like, all right, well, this will help kind of curb some of that. <laughs> Dude, that literally curved the rest of the year. Yeah, that weekend said, you know, done. Your 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 rent increase is covered. Right? And the great crazy part about it is, I ran out of stock halfway through day two of the Ouch. biggest seller. Oh, that hurts. And All I right. have I have seven printers, and I've been printing for like months, getting prepped for the show. Bro, all right. So we'll we'll dive into this here a little bit. Um. First of all, what were you selling? Uh, mostly Crystal Wing 3Ds, uh, Rose Dragons, Crystal Dragons, uh, the Flying Serpent ones, the Rose Turtles. Uh, those were like the main core of what I had prepped. Um, you know, make sure I'm, I'm a, been a patron of hers since uh, I think January. So I had attribution out there, even if I didn't have to. Make sure to, you know, props to her if anyone was wondering about it. And um, I brought about 45, 50 Rose Dragons and it was selling them for about $35 each. Damn. All right. All right. And how much what let, let's talk about cost, right? Let's do cost first. Yeah. All right. So uh, how much was the table fee? How much was it to get on this event? So my portion of it, because I go in with two friends who make dice. So we okay. split it three ways. So I had one of the eight foot tables and they took the other two eight foot tables. Um, so we all had our wares. So different variety of people coming in. I think my portion of it was about 160. 160. So let's just call it 480 for for the whole thing. Right. Fuck it. Well, 500. <laughs> right. Let's just call it 500 for for the whole event. Right. Okay. And then the card fees were from swiping. So right. We, we can't really attribute that as far as a cost. It's a cost deduction post post transaction, right? Right. It, it's not an initial investment type of, of, of cost. Okay. So 160 for the... So basically you spent 160 and made $3,000. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and that's damn good, bro. That's, yeah, I would, that's I was so almost stoked. 20x. Right? right? If almost, not quite. 20x would have been $3,200. You're up at 28 a profit minus the card fees and so on and so forth. So you're about, you know, you're still pretty good. You're still pretty up there. About 16x, if I'm not mistaken, right? Hey, I'm not a mental math person, so I'll take your word for that one. <laughs> so, all right, man. What, what was the name of this event? I was the Game On Expo in Phoenix. Um, it was a game and anime convention. And okay. it was the first and one they done in were, two years. How many people were at this event? 
I think they oversold maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but day one was kind of like mediocre, busy. Like I did about 986 the first day. Uh, day two and card processing alone, I did like 1800. And then um, some more in cash there. And then day three, I was pretty much just selling whatever I had left. I did some of the uh, Flexi Factory, like Flexi Foxes tails, and I did those into keychains, and I sold a lot of those too. Um, but yeah, the last day I was pretty much just selling whatever I had left. Dude, are you on Creature Crate yet? Not yet, no. You, you get on that, man. You There's a lot that. of people asking for axolotls, and I saw there was somebody who does offer uh, axolotl models and commercial licenses. Funny enough, uh, that's actually on next month's um, next month rewards. Oh, is it? Yeah, awesome. I'll have to check that out then. Yeah, yeah, um, dude, that's phenomenal. So this is off from what I taught you. Yeah, I've been watching the episodes, um, and I had had the convention planned before you started doing the uh, print and profits ones. Um, but you know, I've just been kept trying to keep up. I like to see like everyone's little niches and things like that. And I don't really necessarily have a niche. I just like making stuff. Um, and so I do like the dragons. They're fun. You know, people enjoy them. I like to see the joy pe it brings to people mainly. It's like that's why I call myself craft happy because I love crafting and I want everyone to be happy. I like that, man. I like that. I like that. All right, man. So what else? have you learned from um from the channel and from what i've shown you specifically so looking through the different uh videos talk hearing people talk about um not undervaluing yourself too is part of it um and i totally even did that at the event the people i was in the booth with even told me like charge more because i was going to do 25 a dragon not 35 um and i was thinking well, they said you know, something yeah, because that was an extra 480 bucks based off what I sold. Um, and so I think the main part is like, know your audience, know your product, know your printers, have fun with it. And people will just be gravitated towards the awesome stuff that's created. Do you feel that with the 3D printer profits guidance, you feel that you achieved that kind of success because of it? Definitely was a big part of it. Um, just be, keeping me in the mind, you've been posting regular updates. So like it keeps my mind like every week thinking, okay, I need to think more on the business side of things, more on the business side of things. And just kind of keeping in that mindset on a regular basis. Uh, Cause working from home, you know, I kind of get stuck into a lull. <laughs> and so um, it's definitely helped with get, keeping my mind focused on what I want to achieve. Gotcha. Do you think the coaching program would be worth it? Um, I think it definitely would be. I don't know if it's in me at the moment, but I'm definitely looking into that. Dude, badass, man. I'm so fucking proud of you, dude. First time, first time and you make that much money? Yeah. It gets addictive, doesn't it? It does. It's like, oh man, one weekend and that's almost like a month's worth of paychecks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so what's next, man? Well, uh, do you have another convention lined up or what? So I've got the Tucson Comic Con the first week of September, and uh, so I've only got between. Do you have enough time to make enough product. I'm gonna eat, sleep, and breathe 3D printing. Um, but that you is one advantage of work. <laughs> That's an advantage of working from home. Is what print finishes, step away for a second, take it off, start another one. Um, I've got currently six FDM machines working on the smaller ones, like the Vox Lab Aquilas. They're working on the small dragons that I sell for like $10, like little small baby dragons. And then I've got the bigger machines ro rocking the big dragons. And I've got three more any big vipers on the way, but those might be a week, eight days out for shipping. Gotcha. Look, man, I'm really proud of you, dude. Um, I'm glad my videos and I'm glad what I've, what I've taught uh, was able to help you out, man. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. That that warms my heart, brother. That makes me, you know, that's that's a reward in itself for for you to be able to say, "All right, rent increase," and the increase the rent increase for the rest of the year is null and void because of just one weekend because of, you know, what you learned. So, dude, absolutely, Andrew, I'm proud of you, man. Congratulations. Uh, I'll message you again after the Tucson the Tucson Comic Con. 
um, message me and we'll, uh, we'll talk more, man. I want to hear about that. All right. Awesome. Sounds good. Andrew, thank you for, thank you for the testimonial, man. I really, really appreciate it. No problem. Thanks dude. Later brother.